In this lesson, I'll show you how atomic mass is calculated. We'll go through three separate examples, starting with question one. Question one reads, copper has two naturally occurring isotopes, Cu63, that has a mass of 62.9296 AMU, and a natural abundance of 69.17%, and another isotope, copper 65, with the following mass, and its natural abundance is shown right there. Calculate the atomic mass of copper. To calculate the atomic mass of copper, first you have to convert every one of the natural abundances to decimal. So this number and this number need to be converted to its decimal version. And that's really easy to do. You just take the number and you divide it by 100. So if I divide this number by 100, I should end up with this decimal place moving two to the left. We end up with for CU63, 0.6917. And similarly, this becomes for CU65, 0.3083. Both of these numbers have four significant figures, so keep that in mind during the next calculation. For the next calculation, we can actually start to find the atomic mass. And the way we do that is we take each of these percentages and multiply it by their atomic mass unit. So we're going to take this number and multiply it to this, and we'll take this number and multiply it to this, and then add them up. So we have the atomic mass, which I'll represent as AM. We have 0 0.6917 multiplied by its mass, 6292. 69 plus this number now multiply to its mass which is 64.9278 before we calculate this using our calculator let's figure out what the significant figures will be so by multiplying these two I should end up with a number that has four significant figures and by multiplying these two I should end up with the same but when we add, we have to keep in mind the amount of decimal places. So let's do this one at a time. 0.6917, this number, multiplied to this number, gives us 43.5284. We have to stop at four decimal places. So everything after this two is insignificant. But we will continue to write these numbers down because we don't want to lose these numbers when we add them. So I'm going to write down up to at least four decimal places, which will be as accurate as possible. So I have 43.5284, 43.5284, and I'll put a dot underneath the number that signifies the amount of significant figures. Everything after that is insignificant. Plus, and I'll do this calculation next, 0.3083 times 64.9278, once again, everything after that one is insignificant, but I'll continue to write up until that two for good measure, 20.0172. Now technically you're supposed to write the whole number down, but we don't know how big that number is. So by stopping after four decimal places, that's good enough. I'll put a dot right there. Now by adding these, I should end up with a number that has two significant figures after the decimal place because when you add, you keep in mind the amount of decimal places. Both of these have two decimal places. So let's add these up. 43.5284 plus 20.0172. This gives us 63.54. Since this number is even and the number after it, the first discarded number is a five, we won't be rounding upwards. If this were odd, then yes, I would round up. So our final answer is 63.54. AMU is the unit. Now, if you want to see the answers to questions two and three, make sure to watch part two of this series. We'll discuss how to answer both of these within that video.